it's that time of year and the birds are definitely starting to investigate good places to nest so it's still very early we're only the 7th of February today so plenty early enough for a lot of other things but as you'll see as we go around the garden there are certainly plenty of signs of spring so um, it's a bit I feel like it's the calm before the storm because we are due another bout of very heavy rain tonight we had um, we've had about three days of lots of wind it's nice and still at the minute as you um, hopefully can hear but um, yeah we're due a massive rainstorm again tonight so I thought we need to get on and film this so my latest creation is this little it's supposed to be a fat ball holder it could be used for all sorts of things but I thought oh, it could be quite nice to put some potential nesting material in so it's that time of year the birds are starting to show interest in bird boxes and so on so anyway that's uh, a little extra look at the lovely snowdrops just gone a little bit past their best and this horrendous rain last night they look a little bit sorry for themselves but lots of bulbs narcissi i think i've got a giant snowdrop coming up here as well and all sorts of um things starting to show signs of life here really lovely crocus naturalizing and uh, the tree here not quite out in flower but they'll probably will have finished by next month sadly okay so which hazel actually hasn't um, done much more than last month still got this one little flower here Got some buds, but nothing's happened yet, which is a bit surprising. Anyway. Right, so the two beds of apple mint. One I have cut back. I can smell the apple actually. So that one's been cut back. That one has yet to be cut back. So I'm trying to leave anything perennial for as long as possible. Um, the nigella. I reclaimed my full rose more or less by just transplanting some um, some little clumps and just spacing them out and they seem to have taken all right. Cornflowers, still not doing that much obviously, cornflowers and all these nigella direct sown, sowed absolutely fine, I need to thin them out. The um, bunny tails just doing their stuff. Um, I noticed a bud on one of the wallflowers very early. Can't, so that you, they may be in flower next month, but it would seem terribly early. Um, ooh, some primroses out, goodness me. Just noticed those. So a couple of primroses. Looks like a muscari coming out there. More crocus. The pond looking nice and clear. Still not a lot else happening along here. Okay, let's see what's going on since last month. I was pleased to see we've got uh, tulips appearing. I'm surprised the menton have come up because they should be one of the last to come up but anyway um, that is quite good news and then so we've got on this side so the corn cockle um, I need to plant up the rest of this bed they, mm, they don't look that happy Mark spur There's some there, they're looking okay, but we could do with a bit of topping up something's eating them. Paddy's gone missing by the sounds of it. Um, a couple of larks there. 
and how are they? Clary sage, again looking a bit raggedy, but they'll be fine. Let's have a look on the other side. Okay, the daucus at this end looking fine, but there's nothing at the other end, so that needs to be addressed. It's a bit more planting. These cornflower are doing fine. Um, actually, these are probably fairly recently planted, actually. Um, Scalius are still looking fine as well. Bearing in mind these are sown in the autumn and have been planted out all winter. More cornflower. My jella, they're a little bit weenie in this bed. Don't know why. And then, as usual, not a lot here, just the vernunculus. Let's have a look at the vernunculus. Rachel has managed to attack the bed either side of the arch. Um, really want to try and keep on top of that this year. Let's have a look down the garden. So alliums, yeah, a bit more growth compared to last month's video. Managed to weed it a little bit. I've just transplanted red campion on this side, covered up that side. Cut back the raspberries, can't remember if that was done before. Just need to weed it. This side is all covered up. That's got a little edging of nigella. anything much to the perennials but by next month all of these will have been cut back and I will have divided some made a bit more so some of them are just getting a bit too congested I think she just had a bit of a tidy so I am going to show it off because it's not usually quite this tidy. So all my pots I tend to keep here, capillary matting, um, yeah, compost, perlite, vermiculite, all that sort of useful stuff for potting on is my little potting on bench. Love it in here. Okay, let's have a look at the little greenhouse. So we managed to finish cleaning both the greenhouses, which A, looks obviously a lot better, but also really helps with the light levels. I'm having to keep the doors shut still because Mr. Pheasant is still doing the rounds and um, absolutely loves my ranunculus. So I've got to um, keep, well, I keep both doors shut, but keep the windows open. So I'm really into getting as, as much ventilation as possible so it's frustrating having to shut the door normally they're wide open anyway this is I don't know how you say it tritillia um two different sorts and they are really taking off now grew those for the first time last year really liked them um i know it's very early but um i've had my first seat of ours course group um, and so I wanted to have something that they could practice transplanting on. So they've done their bit of transplanting and I just put it on the rest. Um, Larkspur there, sweet peas. So I didn't manage to, these are all sown in January, um, 7th of January, I think you can see there. Um, and then we've got something else I've just transplanted into these modules. Uh, so there's just a few autumn or cuttings I took in the autumn. They don't look brilliant, I have to say, but um, and I forgot about covering them over 
putting some fleece over when we had the frost. So the pelagoniums, that, set, that pot there has certainly had it. This one is looking okay. And actually talking of which, um, oh, we've got signs of life in the plants that are in the ground here as well. So that's good, good news. Right, I've been digging up a few perennials. Um, obviously this is sedum, very, very easy to divide and propagate. I've got some apple mint there. So the seed to bloom to vase group, we'll be having some of those. We also have plenty of uh, greater quaking grass, we've had some of that. Just keeping an eye on my ami. I don't really want that to grow too fast, but I don't want it to get frosted. And I've got some more ranunculus there, some of which I will get outside, plant outside, but um, not yet, it hasn't happened yet. Okay, big greenhouse. Right, I've made a bit more space between the greenhouse and the plum tree there. And um, we've just seeded it out. Um, it was just a bit squished. Didn't have much room in there. Um, okay, so probably not a lot has changed since last time. Still just got the ranunculus um, and orlea in here. Not because it's straight on earth and we've had a lot of rain, there's moisture way underneath that. Um, so I'm not doing any extra watering at the minute. And again, so far so good. I haven't had, I've had the odd plant damp off, but nothing too drastic. Um, so these are all slightly bigger. I have actually planted quite a lot more outside in the last few weeks, but anyway, we've still got some corn cockle, nigella, larkspur, lots and lots of snapdragons which I'm really happy about. They could almost do with pinching out now. I know um, I've been holding back in case the frost does the job for me but I've sort of some of them are getting a bit big. Lavatera which I've not grown these before and here's the next lot of seedlings for the next seed to bloom to vase group. These all lay out I want to actually put in the greenhouse and I've got some more clary here as well which can go outside right i did have other things hardening off but we had such a lot of rain last night i'm a due more tonight i thought they were going to get drowned so i've just um brought them inside for a bit of a reprieve emptied out the gravel trays as much as i could um they do look a little bit soggy don't they um but hopefully they'll recover let's have a look at the Dahlia patch or the orchard, see what's going on there. Again, there won't be any change since last month, except we have got some lovely little clusters of snowdrops, which are marvellous. Okay, I'm just going to go around this way for a change. Um, so the sweet William. I think I'm looking okay. Started showing signs of something I don't like the look of. Like there. What is all this going on? I vowed to myself if they don't work this year, I'm not going to grow the Sweet Williams again if they get this virus again. Anyway, covered up this bed ready for planting at some point. Dahlias are still all covered up. Just got six six beds. Um, and then the biennials. Honesty, looking a bit raggedy, but it'll be fine. Hesperus, likewise, but it'll be fine. Um, and foxgloves. Molly and I did come round and sort of take off all the dead looking leaves and they do look a lot better now, so that will that will help them. Just a sign of a few primroses under the apple tree or in the orchard. This should be a big mat of primroses in a couple of months' time, but there's already such signs of some popping through, which seems very early. Okay, so the border, not looking anything special will hopefully look a little bit tidier next month um, but I'm very happy just to let any bugs 
over winter, let the birds find any more seeds that might be on offer, like there. Um, I don't know what I was going to show you. So I did a willow, willow workshop, or I ran a willow workshop. I was able to take part at the weekend. And here's one of my, one of the things I made. Now the uprights are made of living willow, or green willow. So I've just put some tape over the ends so that they don't root. And I've just put it over a uh, geranium, perennial geranium for the minute. Um, oh, I can smell the sarcococca here. Oh, it smells divine. Just as a bit of a progress report, um, you can see I've got lots of amazing honesty in here that's just self-seeded. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. The narcissi are popping up in the front bed birthday present um yes yeah, some bit we've got sweet william um some hardy annuals a few things in here <clears throat> the hellebores are looking really good they seem to like it here so i've divided some plants from another part of the garden which i'll show you in a moment and they're probably popping there as well So nothing much going on at the side of the house. These are the hellebores I divided up and potted up. They were a clump that was somewhere that were just not best positioned, but yeah, they're doing great. So I'm gonna pop those into a suitable place once they've finished flowering. I've got a few. Oh yeah, I've planted some Menton, Menton tulips, I think there. So they're coming up and Got more tr tr tritalia in there from last year, and here's another of my wigwams. That's all right, isn't it? Just taking a moment to listen to the robin that's up in the cherry tree just up there. Oh, he's so cute. Anyway, um. So that's it for the February garden tour. Um, I think a lot is going to change between now and next month. The tulips should be well underway. Hopefully we'll have had a bit more settled weather to give the hardy annuals a chance to hunker down. They're just uh, striving to stay alive at the moment, to stay in the ground um, with these strong winds. But so far so good. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please subscribe, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to get notifications when the next month's uh, version is going to be up. So um, as you know, I've been doing this for three years now and um, yeah, really enjoy doing it and hope you enjoy following my journey through the year.